found a hairbrush, had to steal it from Mira because I don't own one. How does a daughter of Aphrodite not own a hairbrush? Ada, you must know by now that I'm not like other girls. Now that was very Aphrodite of you. Presenting the Swiss Army Destroyer 5000. Okay, and why are you trying to destroy the Swiss Army? No, see, it's like a Swiss Army knife. You know how some demigods have, like, a signature weapon? Oh, sure, like Slingshot Derek. Yeah, or like Beth with her lance. Beth has a boyfriend? No, what? Who's Lance? No, dude, that's what her pointy metal thing is called. Ah. Oh. What did you think it was called? Pointy metal thing. Right. Well, this is my signature weapon. It's got a knife, another knife, and a hairbrush. Yeah, well, Peg said I couldn't check out more than one weapon from the armory after the whole whack-a-mole incident. I had to work with what I had. Plus Mira's hairbrush. Plus Mira's hairbrush. Sam? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should we run? Demigods don't run from a fight. I got this. Both of the knives fell off? Run. Hey, Lily. Hey, what's up? Oh, we got too good at shooting apples off each other's heads, so now we're gonna try strawberries. Nick, that sounds really dangerous. Someone could get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good, that was good. Thank you, I thought, I thought it was good. Because we're demigods, our lives are always in danger. <laughs> so what are you up to? Well, I learned that plants respond well to music, so I thought I'd try it out. Don't the satyrs already use magic to help the plants grow? Yeah, but I'm not trying to make them grow, I'm trying to make them happy. The... the plants? Yeah, the plants. Plants have feelings? Why would you ask that? Oh, uh, it was just a question. I mean, I don't ask you, do arrows have feelings? Well, I don't... I don't think... do they? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't know. I, I still don't know. I'm very confused. Do you want me to get some other Apollo kids to play their instruments? Yeah, I think the tambourine might be making the plant sad. Yo, Cass, get your lyre! So we'll take your dishwashing shifts for a week, plus trade our afternoon archery slot with your morning slot. Not gonna cut it. Oh, come on, Audrey, we need you guys for Capture the Flag. What else does the Hermes cabin want? You're so smart, why don't you figure it out, owl face? <laughs> Got him. Look, I've told you, we can't do your ancient Greek homework. It's unethical. Ethics, methics, don't you guys write essays for fun? a few extra. <laughs> I don't write essays for fun. <laughs> They're research papers. Kath, the Aries cabin already has Apollo, Hephaestus, and Demeter on their team. Fine. Five essays. We can work with that. Oh, and your marshmallows for the next three campfires. What? Slingshot Derek's request. They like to stack them in their s'mores. It's really good. Can't you guys just steal extra marshmallows? That's a gross assumption. True, but gross. Deal? Fine. Deal. And somehow I'm the gross one. Hey, incoming. Lenore's got a new potion. She's looking for guinea pigs. She turned people into guinea pigs? No, like people to test the potion on. Oh, gotta go. Wait, Nick. Hello, Sam. Hi, Lenore. Coward. That had to do with something completely unrelated to you or any potions you might have. Hi, what's up? Well, you guessed it. Whipped up a new potion, thought you'd want to try it. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm actually on this new diet. I'm not allowed to eat any potions. <laughs> Funny. No, you'll love this. I figured out how to replicate the charm speak ability. Thought you might be interested since only a few children of Aphrodite have it. Ugh, you found my weakness. My raging jealousy of anything my siblings have that I don't give it. Yes. Oh, it tastes like moldy lake water. Makes sense since that's what I used. Ew. Okay, now try to charm speak. No, I need to go brush my teeth. Here, take this. Never ask me to drink lake water again. I will never ask you to drink lake water again. Good. I... Oh. Hey, let me, let me get that back. So, what's your plan? Uh, befriend it? That's your plan? It's not so much a plan as it is an optimistic goal. It's fine, I don't need a plan. Yes, you do. You can't just go stumbling around the world planless. You know what? That one was on me. I forgot you were an Athena kid. It's not just an Athena thing. I mean... You think you can just befriend the monster in the lake with some leaves and blind optimism? Plus, I'm making these noises. The naiads are laughing at us. You know, I didn't even know we had a lake monster. Yeah, I overheard Gino and Ingrid talking about how it's a big secret. Gino and Ingrid from the Hermes cabin? Yeah. And were they talking about this big secret thing quietly, or...? They were pretty loud now that you mention it. Guess we're not good at keeping secrets. Ivy. Have you come up with a name for the monster yet? Well, I was thinking maybe Penelope? Don't name the lake monster after me. Well, it'd be a great honor! No, fine. Drugacon, ruler of the depths it is. Fair Drugacon. <laughs> Better.